Gehring police are investigating a Friday morning shooting that sent a local man to the hospital with a single gunshot wound to his stomach. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, Garing police are investigating an early morning shooting that sent one man to the hospital. Garing Captain Jason Rogers tells KNEB News that officers were dispatched to 1955 and a half 3rd Street around 445 this morning to find a male who was shot one time in his abdomen by an unknown suspect. Rogers says the 24-year-old shooting victim was transported to Regional West Medical Center for treatment of his injuries. His name and condition have not been released as of broadcast time. We'll have the latest updates on this story on our website at kneb.com as they become available. Well, the hours for alcohol sales in Terrytown will not be changing, despite a request by a local business that was seeking to get the cutoff time pushed back to 2 a.m. Marcus Lind, who owns the new venue named Heaven, had asked the city to consider changing the time from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., arguing that the communities in Scottsbluff County lose business to Torrington, and if those people stayed local, it would also improve safety on the roads. Scottsdale Police Chief Kevin Spencer countered those arguments before the board Thursday night. I don't understand the safety aspect either. I don't know how staying open at 2 o'clock makes it safer. And I would argue that it, it goes against the grain of public safety to do that, especially when Gearing's closing at 1 and Scottsdale's closing at 1. Lynette Richards with Monument Prevention Coalition told the council that research on extended alcohol sales hours indicates such a move is detrimental. The CDC suggests reduced hours of sale as a way for communities to foster an environment that does not promote heavy, excessive drinking among adults as well as youth. If you choose to extend to 2 a.m., it does the complete opposite. Increased hours of sales promotes increased drinking. At the end of public comments, council members indicated that they did not want to make such a move without Gehring and Scottsbluff also making the change and tabled the proposal indefinitely. Well, straight ahead, it's been a gorgeous week weather-wise. Will that trend continue into the weekend? Bill Boyer has your full weekend weather forecast right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. No matter what job I've got to do, my John Deere 5E tractor can do it all. Whether I'm cutting, moving feed, or building a fence. Using my 5E means my work gets done faster at a price I can afford, and that works for me. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Pool together all your money with a friend and invest in two Arby's French Dip and Swiss sandwiches for just $6. It's the perfect get rich quick on sandwiches scenario. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Clear skies coming our way this evening. Lows are going to fall into the 20s. That's well above normal. We were near record highs today around 60. Quiet, mild conditions going into the evening and then through the weekend, really to stay here across the region. Very nice uh, looking weekend coming up. Strong winds are coming Monday into Tuesday. Even some damaging winds are possible, especially I think to our west in the high country. Uh, wind prone areas could be looking at maybe 80 mile an hour wind gusts out of this system and no rain or snow is expected. Yesterday, 53 after a morning low of 12. Notice we're normally at 40 and 13 this time of year, so we're going to stay well above normal. 
Uh, nothing in the rain gauges. We're just getting started here for the year. As we look at the last two weeks, you can see we started out a couple of weeks ago near normal. We went above normal in the days leading up to Christmas, then back down below normal, up to near normal and above normal again uh, the day before New Year's Eve. And then we started the new year colder than normal, about normal on Wednesday. And then yesterday we were into the low 50s, near 60 today, well above normal temperatures. So this roller coaster pattern kind of continues and we do expect that uh, to continue. But what ends up happening when that happens is that things kind of level themselves out. And we'll show you what that uh, added up to in 2018 here. Six to 10 days out from now, the six to 10 day forecast, still holding on to warmer than normal temperatures, but maybe an increase in moisture we'll have to keep an eye on uh, as we get towards the end of next week and into next weekend. But until then, we don't have much to go on out there in terms of uh, rainfall. Well, this is the year in review that we showed you. I uh, wanted to show you here. Temperature-wise, not a lot stands out on this graph. You'll notice we've been near normal pretty much all the way across the board. Uh, every single month we were near slightly above or slightly below normal. But precip, we can't say the same. We started out uh, below normal a little bit to near normal, bounced around the first four months, had a huge May that we were uh, well above normal, 300% of our precip uh, in a normal month of May. We had June, July, we were above normal, then the bottom kind of fell out really since August. It's been very dry here across the area. And uh, hopefully we can see that trend change because we could use the moisture as we ended the last uh, five months, for the last five months in uh, well below normal figures in terms of precip. And those are months that are typically dry. So we ended up with very little, if any, in some of those months. Still have that flood warning out for the ice jam flooding around Llewellyn on the North Platte River. Temperatures in the 30s here across the region, a colder 27 up in Rock Springs, 19 in Riverton, but we have low to mid 20s here, or make that uh, low to mid 40s across our area. A few people uh, in the low upper 30s. Very nice conditions out there. Winds are light. Uh, they've been strongest in the wind prone areas that continue and we don't really have much to worry about in terms of wind chills in the upper 30s to low 40s. A couple of things we're watching here on our surface map. You can see this big frontal system off to the west. It's going to move inland, but what we'll be watching is this system coming to the south. There it comes, diving off to the south with it. We're going to be seeing a few uh, clouds with this storm system tomorrow uh, and temperatures slightly cooler than where they were today, but that's it. Uh, we don't have much uh, coming with that. The colder air is going to be shunted off to the north and east of us. So let's take a look at future cast. Winds are going to be strongest where they've been all day in the wind-prone wind areas of eastern Wyoming. Otherwise, clear skies through the night tonight. Lows are going to be very comfortable, uh, almost double what they would ordinarily be for lows. We're ordinarily in the mid-teens. We're going to be near 30 for us in low many areas tonight, at least upper 30s upper 20s and low 30s here across the region. Tomorrow, sunshine breaks out across the area, continues. Winds are light, not much uh, to write home about in terms of precip. A few late day clouds later on in the afternoon and early evening hours, we'll start to see some clouds. And overnight, I think we'll see an increase of clouds, maybe even a little low clouds and fog activity settling into the area as you get ready for Sunday morning. Highs tomorrow, slightly cooler than where they were today in the low to mid 50s here, as opposed to near that 60 degree mark. Still. Uh, we're getting nitpicky when we start complaining about 50s this time of year. 24, clear, comfortable, light winds tomorrow. Mostly sunny for most of the day, clouding up later on in the day. 54, and winds only at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And look at our 7-day forecast. We just have those winds that we'll keep an eye on Monday and Tuesday, especially to our west. Otherwise, highs are going to remain well above normal through the next 7 days. And uh, no precip in sight as temps remain in the mid to upper 40s to low to mid 50s here across all of our region for the next seven days. You never know when you'll need an extra French dip in Swiss. It could get lost in the car or eaten by a confused stranger. Stuff happens to sandwiches. That's why Arby's made you two French dip in Swiss sandwiches for just six bucks. For only six dollars, you'll always have a spare French dip in Swiss until you eat it. You'll never have to be afraid. Arby's, we have the meats. 
Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing. When was the last time you were at Teacher's Corner? We're now TC and more. Come see what you've been missing. Clothing, jewelry, flags, home decor, toys, American made. Stop in and see what you've been missing. TC and more, downtown Scotts Bluff. The leaves are turning and the temperatures are cooling, so it's time to come harvest the deals at the Vieira Wireless Fall Savings Sale. Right now, get your family high-speed, truly unlimited mobile data for just 35 bucks per line with four lines. Prices have never been lower for unlimited data. Plus, trade in your current phone and get up to $500 off the latest iPhone and Samsung models. Those are incredible savings on the most popular and advanced smartphones. Don't miss out on our Fall Savings Sale. Hurry into Vieira today. Welcome back. The Goshen County School District is looking for a new superintendent following the sudden resignation of Gene Krutowski. School Board Chair Catherine Patrick confirmed that Krutowski submitted a letter to the board this week indicating her intention to retire on February 1st. Patrick says the board thanks Krutowski for her service to the district and an interim superintendent will be hired to fulfill those duties from the date of Krutowski's retirement to July 1st. Well, a 21-year-old Washington man has died following an accident on I-25 near Wheatland on Wednesday morning. Josh Steele reportedly stepped out of his car to inspect a noise that he heard coming out of his vehicle, and a farm tractor collided with his vehicle. The driver of the tractor backed up and struck Steele, who succumbed to his injuries at the scene of the accident. This was the first highway fatality in Wyoming this year. And U.S. Senator Ben Sass has been appointed to two committees for the 116th Congress. Sass will serve as the only new member of the Select Intelligence Committee and the Senate's Republican designee on the newly created Cyber Commission. He says we're in the age of a cyber war and America isn't ready for it and Washington is not doing enough to protect citizens from cyber threats overseas. Zass will also continue to serve on the Judiciary, Banking, and Joint Economic Committees. Well, straight ahead, Bryce and Alex will be in with a recap of the week, at, week that was in Ag News. We'll have your Friday Five right after this on KNEB.TV News. <laughs> Care Heilbrunn State Farm Agent is here to protect all the moving parts of your life. With auto, home, life, and financial services, Care Heilbrunn and her team make it simple to bring together what matters to you. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the Western Hearing Clinic Ag Desk. Western Hearing Clinic, the Panhandle's choice for better hearing, helping you hear what matters most. 
happy Friday. We hope that you had an enjoyable 2019 New Year's celebration. It's a new year, Alex, but you and I are still here counting down the news from the past week. We are, and Friday Five is still presented by the Nebraska Corn Board. Let's review this week's stories. If you enjoy playing with fire, there is a learning opportunity for you. That's right, Pheasants Forever and the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission are hosting prescribed burn training workshops across Nebraska in 2019. Now, these workshops will provide guidance and instructions for completing safe and effective prescribed burns. Head over to our website for the full description and site locations. Number four, a large trade deal comprised of 11 nations became official on Sunday after years of back and forth talks. Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, or CPTPP, has been rat ratified by six of the countries involved, which triggered the official start. Now, if that name sounds a little familiar, it's because it's the new TPP, which the U.S. pulled out in the early days of the Trump administration. Moving on, the Environmental Protection Agency recently released a list of updated data on several small refiner hardship waivers filed under the Renewable Fuel Standard. There are now seven new waivers that have been filed for the 2018 compliance year. A coalition of ethanol-related groups recently filed a lawsuit against the EPA over these small refiner waivers. Number two, Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue will address the closing general session at the 100th American Farm Bureau Federation annual convention. More than 6,000 Farm Bureau members from across the nation are expected to attend this annual event. This year it's hosted in New Orleans, Louisiana. Farm Bureau President Zippy Duvall said the group is honored Purdue will join the event, calling the secretary a champion for farmers and ranchers. And our top story this week, the federal government shutdown continues, now affecting more U.S. Department of Agriculture programs and services, including the Farm Service Agency offices. But producers who have certified 2018 production are expected to receive market facilitation program payments. However, producers who have yet to certify 2018 acres will have to wait until the shutdown concludes. The USDA has continued some services, including meat and commodity inspections, along with Forest Service law enforcement, some research measurements, and the continuation of SNAP benefits at least until the end of January. Those are just a few of the stories we are following to kick off 2019. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Friday Five, which is presented by the Nebraska Corn Board. We'll see you right here next week. Have a great weekend. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol. Regional West is one of three level two trauma centers in Nebraska. We have all the resources here 24 hours a day to address any traumatic injury. From emergency medical services to advanced medical imaging and surgery to acute care and rehabilitation. It's comforting to know that if an accident happens here. It's a friendly town, that's for sure. Not too big, not too small. Seems like everybody knows your name. Let's take a peek at what's happening on your weekend community calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar, brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. When was the last time you were at Teacher's Corner? We're now TC and more. Come see what you've been missing. Clothing. Jewelry. Flags. Home decor. Toys. American made. Stop in and see what you've been missing. TC and more, downtown Scotts Bluff. It is never too early to start planning for retirement, and working with an experienced financial advisor can put you on the right path. At Platte Valley Investment Center, our team of financial advisors will work with you every step of the way to maximize your retirement income. Call me, Jody Rosiska, or Rick Morehouse, financial advisors, to set up your free no-obligation consultation. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC. Life well planned. And finally tonight, Brett Mosier, the Gehring High School teacher whose class project has been selected as the Nebraska State winner for the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest, says he and his students are elated that their eye motion controlled wheelchair project will move on to the next round for the competition. Mosier says it will be a busy six weeks for him and his students. Uh, okay, so now we have to, <clears throat> by February 15th, we have to put together a video, a promotional video of the project. So. The Samsung judges haven't seen any of our stuff yet. A lot of it's just been in writing and um, what our progress via that way. And so now we put together a promotional video uh, and then it's due February 15th. And then there's kind of a, a different set of voting that goes on. So there's some social media voting that goes on for about a month. Um, <clears throat> and then some panels uh, of judges appointed by Samsung start to do some voting. KNEB.TV News will catch up with the students once they're back in the classroom so they can showcase the progress on the project. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.